Linus. Hi. You want to help me with an experiment? I do. Okay, so what I'm going to try is I want to test these materials to see what is the most buoyant. So okay. what floats the best. Okay, yeah. So which one do you predict is going to be the most buoyant, just looking? I have thrown sticks in a river. Mm-hmm. And I would say those float. So I think first, I think I want to test out the big piece of wood here. Okay, let's see. Wood is very buoyant. It does float. So it's very, very buoyant. Let's see which is more buoyant, the wood or the little boat. Okay, the little, the little boat. boat, I think. I don't know, but okay, plastic let's try it. little boat. Yeah. Drop it goes in. into the water and it floats. It's pretty buoyant Actually, too. Actually, a little bit more, yeah. I'd say, than the wood. Yeah, they're both pretty buoyant, and I think if we took the boat apart, we'd find out it was maybe full of air on air, the inside. Yeah. Let's try the a little polished agate. Okay. Just to see what will happen. I predict this is not going to be very. Buoyant. I do too, <laughs> unless it's a porous rock. Right. If it was pumice, maybe. If it was a pumice, which mm -hmm. I don't think it is. Nope. Yep, there it is. Six. And let's try this little piece of whatever it is. Looks like jewelry? a jewelry little ring? piece of jewelry. Oh, yeah. I think it might be like a clip. Oh yeah. Okay, here it is. It's kind of like a what small... a grandma might wear. Yeah. Right. So Oops, not very six. buoyant. So what I I'm noticing, all the do you notice solid plastic and metal? So what do you notice about the things that sink? They seem heavier mm -hmm. and more dense, like mm -hmm. there's there something inside them, like they're not hollow. Okay, let's try the duck. Okay, the duck. Mm -hmm. I th I'd say it floats because it was it was basically designed to float. So. Yeah, and it's hollow inside. So we'll yeah. test your theory. Pretty good floater. Well, floats sideways, but kind of still float on his face. Yeah. Now I would like to try. The little mandarin orange. Mandarin orange. Yeah. Do you think that's going to float or do you think it's going to sink? Well, based on what we have so far, it seems like it's not very, um, not very dense. Seems, mm -hmm. well, it seems like it is, it's pretty dense. Seems like it's not hollow. Mm -hmm. So I would say it sinks, but who knows? Let's, let's test let's, it and see. Let's test. Actually, we might want to use the big jug for this. Okay. Let's try it in the big jug. A small little snack orange. Mm -hmm. Small frame. Oh, it does oh, float. Really wow. good I'm... floating. So we got kind yeah. of a, we predicted maybe we didn't quite know, and uh -huh. it did float. So what I want to try is, you know how the peel on this orange is pretty thin? It is, well, to make it easier for peeling so you yeah. can just eat it. Let's try an, a peeled orange. A peeled so, orange. Mm -hmm. Here what do you think? is a peeled, well, has this big hole in it. Mm -hmm. Pretty dense. Mm -hmm. I'd say it would sink. Yeah, let's Based try. on all these. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, this floated, so who knows? This might, it might float. Oh, oh it sank, sank really sunk. well. Yeah, wow. So. Do you have any predictions about why the peeled orange sink? I think it has to be something about the peel. Yeah. Something in the peel. Mm -hmm. Or maybe the peel is providing a seal for all the air. Well, that's a good idea. Uh, something in the peel, probably. So let's look. You can see the peel is so thin. Very thin. Like We can just peel it right like, off. And do you notice all that white stuff? on the inside. Yeah, isn't that called the pith? Yeah, the pith. Yeah. And so the pith and if we squeeze the orange just right, I sh there's a little there's a lot of oil in the orange. Oh yeah. So uh I'm trying to make it come up, but I, it's not cooperating. <laughs> but uh the oil and the pith together, mm -hmm. that's a lot of air in the pith. Oh yeah. So it's going to help it to float. And then oh. when we remove that, it's going to sink really well. So let's see. Oh, so the pith is kind of like a foamy yeah. foamy sponge. It's Absolutely. really light, porous. Absolutely. It's like and a... also, oil floats on, mm -hmm. well, here's... Let's try it. Let's just put some oil on the water. Let's just try this with some oil. Mm -hmm. 
small piece of going to right pour a little oil here. onto the water i'm gonna pour mm -hmm. a little bit of oil in the water and we'll just see what happens and see if it mixes or what so if anybody's ever made salad dressing at home with like vinegar and oil maybe yeah. you'll notice it doesn't really mix doesn't really well see oh that's a really nice oil we could see on yeah, the hold it up so they can see see the oil and the water float they're in perfect i try to it doesn't mix it's there you go in perfect uh oil floats exactly on water without any mixing mm -hmm. and do you know why that is i think it's because it's lighter and i think mm -hmm. water is i mean water is really dense and right. when it goes to ice it gets uh it gets less dense so the most liquids yeah so that's how it, the ice floats in this your is, this is really um heavy and the oil is really light yeah so the density i really like how you use that word the specific density of the oil and the water are different so we can make a cool little we could even stack up lots of different layers of liquids with different well, density yeah i saw a lot there's like you could put like molasses mm -hmm. honey water oil and mm -hmm. then drop a bunch of things in see what floats on what and yeah i mean in water some things float and some don't yeah. but in other substances some things that would like in molasses i think a nail would float mm -hmm. that's another experiment we should try sometime yeah so thanks for trying out buoyancy with me today yeah all yeah. right and thank you guys for watching so until next time uh have fun and stay curious Bye.